welcome to episode 61 of the Postal Hub podcast. I'm Ian Kerr. My guest this week is Liam O'Sullivan, Director of Mails at Anpost. Liam talks about Anpost's new e-commerce returns service, ReturnPal. He also gives an update on Delivery Box and Anpost's logistics service. We covered the Delivery Box initiative in episode 24 and Post Logistics in episode 34 if you want to go back and listen to them. Enough of the introduction, let's get to the interview. Liam O'Sullivan, Director of Mails at Anpost. Joining me now on the Postal Hub podcast is our regular guest, I suppose we can say now, Liam, it's your third time on the podcast. Liam O'Sullivan, Director of Mails at Anpost. Welcome to the podcast. We're going to talk about Return Pal, which is the new Anpost product, which is being launched very soon. But before we get to that, Liam, Delivery Box. We talked about it oh, a few months ago now on the podcast, the home parcel delivery box for a solution. How's it going? What's the take-up been like and the reaction been like from the public? Uh, good afternoon, Ian, and uh, thanks again for having us back on. Um, delivery Box has gone extremely well for us. We have sales now in excess of 25,000 and uh, it's very well distributed throughout the country. We've actually got businesses as well as private households as customers of it now. And we've just taken delivery in the last few weeks of a, a fresh production batch of another 10,000 boxes. So sales are very, very, very strong. And customer reaction has been absolutely super. Um, we are seeing quite an amount of use of it now as a posting facility as well, because we do provide a free collection service from the delivery box and it's also had a very positive impact on our effective next day delivery rate. What have the statistics been like on, on improving those uh, next day delivery rates or, or, or first time delivery rates I should say? Well for, for first time delivery now we operate a, a couple of innovative pieces to make sure that we reduce the um, carding rate. So where we're at now is we have uh, contract customers who we do coordinated deliveries on their behalf and the combination of that plus the delivery box, means our effective delivery rate for contract parcels and packets next day is running at 94%. So we've only got 6% of the contract traffic, which is now carded. And it's a combination of both the delivery box and our premium in-flight service menu or coordinated delivery. Wow, that's a, that's a great result. You must be very happy. Yeah, we're very happy with that. So we're now looking at how do we reduce that 6% that we're still carrying on down even further. Well, I mean, if you solve the complete problem, I'm sure there must be some sort of prize for the first person, <laughs> first global postal operator to, to solve the first time delivery problem. Well, I, I don't think we lay claim to uh, resolving it entirely, but I think we're well on the way to getting it down under 5%. Now, let's quickly talk about, before we get to return power, which we're going to get to soon, listeners, I promise, Post Logistics, you launched it late last year. In fact, we talked about it the week I think the service was launched, early days. How are things looking early on? It's early days. We launched it in the very last week of November. We've had a very positive response from the marketplace on it. Um, at this stage now, we have over 250 registered customers who've registered with us online. And we're seeing quite an amount of traffic coming through it. It's still very early days, obviously. But at this stage now, we have carried freight to about 15, 16 European countries at this stage. And well, that was in a partnership with DB Schenker, wasn't with it? With DB Schenker. So the RIT system, we think it's hit the sweet spot. It makes it very easy to access. And the model is we're collecting it during the day with our fleet. And you can order up to 12 o'clock the night before, end-to-end tracking across Europe. And we hand it over to DB Schenker at their gateway in Dublin and they carry out the delivery in the UK and on continental Europe. So it's building now, and we obviously have a a three-year program to build it up to a critical mass, but the early indicators are very, very good. A lot of interest in it. And, you know, Brexit, I suppose, you know, it's a very hot topic in the UK. It's a very hot topic in Ireland as well. So we feel we're launching this at the right time. A lot of Irish exporters would have concentrated their business on the UK. Obviously, it's our nearest neighbor, our biggest trading partner, and they haven't really pursued the continental European market. But a lot now, there's recent research in Ireland by the Irish Exporters Association saying that 70% of Irish exporters were now looking for new markets in Europe, and we've got a ready-made top-class solution, which, but ourselves and DB Schenker, gives a quality product to any point within continental Europe and the UK, 
Brexit is going to drive Irish exporters to look for the European market, and we think that will benefit our post logistics offering. Well, we'll look forward to hearing more about that in the months to come, Liam. Let's talk about Return Pal now, which is uh, the new e commerce returns product that Anpost is launching. Well, Liam, tell us a little bit about it. Is this when someone's bought something online, they want to return it? How do they return it through Anpost through this new Return Pal service? Well, we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's the best way to do returns. And, you know, 30 to 40 percent of people would be familiar with in the industry is actually returned. So we were looking for something that utterly cracked it. And we think we've come up with that now. So the challenges normally are, as as you've articulated, Ian, you know, somebody gets something, it's the wrong color, wrong size, they want to get it back. Then they're normally faced with going to a post office to return it or in some cases going to parcel lockers to return it. In a lot of cases, they've got the hassle and inconvenience of trying to print out the labels for return. They may have to go into a website to get it. And when we looked at it with the growth in tablets and smartphones, a lot of people now don't have a PC and in a lot of cases definitely don't have a printer. So we were looking for something that tackled that issue and to make it really, really convenient. So there's kind of three legs to how we've solved this one here. So we've developed an app which will work on Android and Apple systems and we will register retailers onto the app. So if you've got an item to return, you do a simple registration with us. It's a matter of a minute or two to register. And you choose the retailer that you want to return the item to. Now, you have a choice at that stage. Do you want to return it via a post office or would you like on post to collect it from your home? So in the case, if you choose a post office, what it will do is it will render a 2D barcode onto your mobile phone. So you simply bring your item plus your mobile phone to any one of our 1,100 post offices. The clerk at the counter will scan the barcode from your phone and that will print the label at the counter with the track and trace number and the return address is going to, and that's the item processed. The application will also process the payment. So if it's an e-retailer who has registered with on post and they are paying for the return, then the consumer pays nothing. Equally, we could have retailers who give a discounted return or they don't give a discount, but the consumer can register their credit card or debit card on the app and they can pay for it from there. Now, we think the post office piece will be a small percentage of the returns, but the really cool piece that we've come up with is that you can choose to have it collected from your home. So we give you a suite of options as to how you want it collected from your home. And you can have it collected from your own post delivery box, as we spoke about earlier. You can have, we'll actually knock at the door and collect it hand to hand, or you can tell us where on your premises, which safe place you've left it in, and we'll pick it up from there. So the way it actually will work for a consumer is up to 12 midnight, they can order a collection from their home. We've linked the app up into our internal data systems where we have every address in Ireland linked to which delivery office delivers to the house, which delivery route, and overnight we download into each of our delivery units a collections manifest for each post person's route, and we also locally at the delivery unit print off the adhesive return label which is bespoke for each customer. So when each post guy comes on delivery in the morning, his manager will give him the collections manifest for the day, plus the label. And then using our handheld real-time devices, we ring the customer in advance just to remind them, don't forget to leave it in your delivery box. Don't forget to uh, leave it if you're leaving it in a safe place. Or we tell them the time we'll be there so we can do a hand-to-hand transfer. Um, whichever option the consumer has chosen, our delivery guys will pick it up from there, will apply the return address label with the barcode, we'll scan it into the system, and we'll bring it back into the postal system for the consumer. So what you can see you're doing there is actually you're solving two problems. You're not just solving the returns problem for the customer. You're also solving the problem that a lot of posts are facing is you've got postmen going out, the post delivery offices, going out there... Uh, with less and less letters. So how do you fill up those pannier bags? How do you make more use for that postman? So you're solving that problem as well. Absolutely. And and I mean, look, we all shop online. I shop online myself. I return goods. It's one of the biggest chores is making that return. The extra feature we've added in, where if a retailer isn't registered on our app, we also have a free form part of the application where the consumer can choose any business, any e-retailer that they want to return to. They can actually key in free text, 
the address of the business they want to return it to. And the rates are very, very reasonable on this because we're operating on the basis of we're using the universal service delivery routes, as you've said. Postman's bags are getting lighter and lighter. So it gives them more activity and gives us an additional revenue stream. And uh, when is this likely to be launched? Our plan at this stage, where there's quite an amount of IT, as you can imagine, from what I've described. So we're just finalizing the testing on that at this stage. And our plan is to launch this at the end of May, start of June this year. And so we available to all residential addresses? Every residential and business address in the state. And order up to 12 o'clock at night and we will pick up from you the following day. And what I love about it is that the consumer doesn't need to print anything out because I'm one of those people that does have a printer at home, but I don't print labels at home. And I don't want to be sticking labels on park cartons. But to just have a hand over that pass, I suppose they're scanned immediately, whether you hand it over in person, whether you hand it over at the post office or whatever, it's going to be scanned immediately. And so the tracking starts straight away. From the uh, retailer's perspective, they've got immediate visibility of the products coming back to them. Is that right? And one of the big pieces of this, Ian, is that the e-retailers, they like to know what rate their product is being returned at. They normally don't re-credit somebody's account until the goods have been received back. So... One of the things we've built in here is there's a large management information system sits behind this. So every registered retailer with us can actually see the rate of return they're getting, the rate of return on their items. They can actually see which parts of the country it's coming from. They can actually see who it is and most particularly which account. So they'll actually have a record that an item has been returned. So they could choose to recredit their customers' accounts much earlier than they do at the moment to allow the consumer to spend again. We think that's a hugely important piece for e-retailers because they'll know what's coming back to them and that it's in the custody of Unpost even before the product arrives back into their returns depot. So that should allow them to re-credit. So, Liam, I suppose what all that means is the post delivery officer himself or herself doesn't have to carry a printer. It's all being printed at the delivery centre. Absolutely. I mean, it's a little bit what the kind of the solution we came up with on delivery box. We saw a lot of solutions in the marketplace that required householders to run power and data cabling out to one of the smart boxes on the market. And our view at that stage was we had a post person coming on delivery who had power and data in a real-time scanning device. So that's why we came up with a simple barcoding solution. So... There's a lot of activity in the postal market at the moment attempting to arm delivery agents, postpersons, with devices that will actually do printing while you're en route. Our view was very simple. Every one of our postal delivery people start at a delivery unit every day. There's data there, there's power, there's PCs there, and critically, there are printers. So we're simply printing the labels for each of the posties in the morning. So what about those posties who who deliver out in rural areas who might be starting somewhere like in a remote post office that might not necessarily have access to a printer? What are they going to do? Yeah, we've covered that off. We do have quite a number of post people who are in these remote locations, but they receive their mail from one of the larger delivery units. So we took the simple view. The mail is passing through those large delivery units on its way out to the remote post people. We print the labels at the large unit and we send it out to them with the mail. Very simple solution. They're getting it in the morning with their regular mail and the manifest as well that says where they've got to pick up from. Yeah, there's an envelope addressed into the small delivery rural office as the labels and the manifest in it, and it's very, very simple. So customers can still book up to midnight the night before and get that service even in rural Ireland? Yes. Our offering is uniform. No matter where they are in Ireland, they can access this up to 12 midnight the night before for next day. Well, there you go. So, again, making the most of the technology that's available and making it simple for consumers at the same time. Liam, I love it. Uh, Liam O'Sullivan, Director of Mails at Anpost. Thanks very much for joining us on the Postal Hub podcast today. Thank you very much, Ian. That's all for this episode of the Postal Hub podcast. Thanks again to my guest, Liam O'Sullivan from Anpost. Coming up next week, Charles Brewer, CEO at DHL e-commerce on e-commerce in developing markets. Also coming soon on the podcast, Dean McCuber with his ideas on how to reform the US Postal Service. Now, 
Make sure you never miss an episode. Sign up via iTunes, click the subscribe button if you're in iTunes, and you'll get every episode downloaded automatically to your device. You can also sign up for email updates via the website. Go to thepostalhub.com and enter your details there. If you're on LinkedIn, we've got a company page there, or you can connect with me personally if you like. Just send me an invitation to connect with a little message saying who you are and why you want to connect. If you have a topic you'd like to suggest for a future episode of the podcast, just email me direct. My email address is ian at thepostalhub.com. Com. I'm Ian Kerr. Thanks for listening in, and I look forward to your company next time on the Postal Hub podcast.